Hi guys, Exeter Rider. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. And you join me on another sunny, beautiful day in Plymouth. And this week I am reviewing the 2020 BMW S1000 XR. Let's make it come alive. So this is a keyless ride. Like so. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely. Right. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, do a bit of everything. Bit of town riding, bit on the dual carriageway. Open her up and I'll leave all the spec at the end like I normally do and with some pictures. So uh, it's funny how you can get on a bike and know that you're going to love it. <laughs> Oh, what's that biting point? Lovely. Wow. Fuel injectors doing a beautiful job. Now I did have the opportunity to take out the S1000 last year and it's uh, a, a previous generation uh, this has only just come out this year so uh, it's pretty much a brand new bike um, so the changes are mainly is that they have revised the engine it hasn't got shift cam and obviously the previous did have the the old clocks the analog clocks it was quite late changing to a tft screen like we got now third gear i'm just going to open up from there You know what? You get it to 6,000 and you just want to hold it there. You just want to keep going and going and going. So this is the standard screen. And uh, is it in the upward position? Yeah, I think it is. No, it's not. There you go. Oh, that's better. Yes, it's doing an alright job. I'm not getting any buffeting, but I am getting a bit of wind noise. But it's okay. Uh, we've got cruise control on this one, so let's put that on and set. And away we go. As a pillion on this bike, then you're going to be very comfortable. It's a, a nice size seat and it is built for touring long distances. It'll be brilliant for that. <laughs> but having said that, it's uh, it's still not too bad. I'm not sure how it, I would feel about it on longer journeys, and whether it would bug me anymore. But um, I'm, I like to say I'm not finding it too bad. So, so to turn in, it's actually s stunning. This is one of those bikes that you get on and you think, wow, you know, let, let's try and find something wrong with it because everything seems so damn good with it. It's incredible, so far. I don't know where I'm going here. Oh, a bit of twisties. with the gravel. <laughs> God, I didn't know this road existed. Thank you, XR. Oh, this is great. Really good. Brakes are sharp on the front. It does dip down quite a lot again on, on the front, which is, uh, it's okay. U-turns, it's okay. Very, very easy. Why not? Yeah, 
yeah the suspension is incredible it's really really good it's not really tight but it's just soaking up the bumps so nicely the clutch is quite heavy but uh, not as heavy as the, the old thousands used to be has got a quick shifter this particular model as well so that's always a nice added bonus quick shifter is one that you have to shove into place I'll take it from second here we go Whoa, hey! oh wow so to sit on the bike the bike surrounds you quite a bit uh, we've got a bit of weather protection on the bodywork here which goes right over the front of me We've got a decent manual screen which you can move up or down let's move that down now give myself a better view and it feels so solid it feels really really solid it's just no flexing whatsoever kind of gives you the impression that you could really take the mech with this bike and it will look after you but there's always a line there of course isn't there as with all these bikes power delivery is incredibly smooth the handlebar height is at a nice width and also I find myself not reaching too much as well which is nice I feel like you can uh, conquer anything on this bike it's one of those uh, special machines having said that I think every thousand I've ever ridden has been really good I think the last one I've done was the um, Katana I think stand is in a lovely position and it's one of those that you push out in front of you. All right, let's take it somewhere and do the walk round. Bit dirty today, but folks, this uh, bike needs a bit of a wash, to be honest with you. Some di dead flies as well. All right, shove it over there, I suppose. Okay, so where do I start on this bike then, folks? Well, first of all, I'm so impressed with the um, handling of the bike um, at slow speeds. There's no uh, jerkiness, it's almost like the ECU knows exactly what you want to do going through the traffic um, the engine does get quite hot uh, the, the fans come on and blowing a load of heat all over me which i can do without today so the one thing that really strikes me about this bike is when you tuck it into a corner it brings itself up so nicely it, it falls in nice it comes out nice and uh, it, it just feels so stable it gives you loads and loads of confidence I, I don't know what these tires are but whatever they are they're blooming good tires right so to get on the bike it's very easy it takes a bit of pulling off the stand but once you're up there you're okay i'm on the balls of my feet i mean i'm 5'8 i've got a 30 inch inside leg if you're around that height then you're going to be fine obviously any taller you're going to be you're not going to have a problem at all uh peg position is actually uh, lower than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to have a more sporty stance. But in fact, I would say that's pretty much perfect actually for me. Um, your legs hug into the tank here quite nicely and uh, holds, you, holds you in quite nice. It is a bike that you sit into and, and everything is nicely positioned all around you. The mirrors are good, they're at a nice height as well. Um, I see above my shoulders, uh, well, sorry, I should say around my shoulders quite nicely. And the switch gear, the accelerator is smooth as butter. Um, the clutch again is very smooth. It's got a typical uh, litre bike biting point. Um, so it's, it's kind of steady and then all of a sudden it will, it will just bite quite quickly. Um, uh, and I mean that in a nice way, it's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we've got the keyless ride which you know i'm not bothered about that really um i'd rather have a key if i'm honest with you and save whatever they charge for that which would be quite a lot i would imagine um but then again it's got its security benefits so that's what you need to think about there we've got the sos feature heated grips cruise control on this one um the engine is so responsive it's almost like as i said on the ride if i cut it in it's almost like the ECU knows what you want to do. The electronic suspension is the thing that's really jumping out at me. Uh, not only does it go over the bumps nicely and, and cushions the ride, it, um, 
it gives you it's just solid as a rock you just know where you are with it it's hard to explain sometimes and it? it's a bit of a sixth sense type of situation but you, it really you really do know what the bike's doing all the time and uh that in itself and certainly on the litre bike it's exactly what you want it makes you feel like you can do more than what you're doing on it even if you're not the most experienced rider um it just makes you feel like you can take it to the limit um, you can adjust the riding modes the cornering on it oh, there's so much you can dial into this bike it's um it's just too much for me to learn you need to own a bike one of these bikes really to understand how um how versatile it is so the brakes on this are, are really good they're bmw twin calipers on the front and a single on the rear okay looking exhaust I think it's one of those bikes that if you owned one of these then I think if you had an aftermarket exhaust then it would sound out of this world um, so that might be a worthwhile investment however of course it is all does come down, down to cost got the quick shifter on this one and we've got adjustable levers as well on the clutch and the front brake there so for touring reasons if you did want to go touring with this you've got the pannier option on the side here already built in We've got a top box ready to go on at the back um, and the screen's good enough as standard. Right, that's enough talking. Let's get on and have another ride. Certainly be an excellent explorer, this one. That suspension, man, even over the bumps, it, it's such a nice cushion. It is literally a cushion of air. I know I've said it about other BMWs before, but bom de bom de bom, lovely. Absolutely lovely. So when you get it up into sort of 9,000, that's when it really happens. I think the torque is at its highest point at, at uh, 9,000, but you're just not gonna be up there very often on this bike. But that doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. That just means that, what, <laughs> the point I'm trying to get across is that it works well at low revs as well. So at low revs, it's a great little touring bike, adventure bike. I think I would put this in the adventure category, actually. And at high revs, it's a little beast. So uh, ownership pride-wise, you get absolutely loads from this. Be a lovely bike to own. Almost at a stop, and I could still balance it. Impressive. Yeah, I think this is uh, definitely one I don't really want to take back. It's got a lovely nature of tipping into the corners. That's something else that really, uh, really jumps out at me. Whoa! Three things really. First of all, the fun factor above 6,000. Secondly, um, oh shit, I've totally forgotten now. Oh, there's suspension. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, it's kicking in now. Um, third thing is the cornering to be honest it's just about everything isn't it it's probably about five things that I, I, i'm really really impressed with with this bike is there anything i don't like about the bike well yeah i, get, I think they should have done a bit more work on vibrations at motorway speeds um i heard that the the old one was uh, oh that that tipping into the corner is lovely it's lush um Mm, um, but yeah, I think they should have done a bit more work on vibrations, if I'm on severe. Um, it's not excessive, like I say, it's just a bit of a... I wouldn't even say it's a high-frequency buzz like you get from a, a typical four-pot. But it is still there more than what I would like it to be on a bike of this nature. Um, not disappointing but it's on the road to disappointing I, I wish they'd done better on that but put that aside get over that one and uh, quite often with with doing reviews you find that the not so good points are so much stronger when the bike is absolutely brilliant and um, that's what I'm finding here the bike is so so good um, that it becomes more annoying uh, for the for the one negative that I can give it. 
Now as with all things BMW, you can spec it up to the eyeballs. And quite often, you, you wouldn't really want to buy the, the baseline bike. You'd have to spec it up. So whether you do that with their genuine parts, um, or whether you go aftermarket, you know, there's uh, plenty of good aftermarket stuff on. Uh, sorry, Ocean, I hope you don't mind me saying that. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of uh, aftermarket stuff you can get for these bikes. So the seat after this ride is still pretty comfortable, actually. I couldn't honestly tell you how long it would, would be comfortable for. But, um, but it is pretty, pretty damn good. Here we go, ready? I think it's fast enough, don't you? You can feel that that uh, engine reach its second peak as well. I don't know if you're going to catch this on camera, but boom, whoosh, seven thousand, and boom, it something happens to it. Not be staying now. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's just so damn quick. Right then, guys, I'm going to get the bike back now. So, as you can tell, do I like the bike? Yes, it's really, really good. Very good indeed. The vibrations is a, is a minor niggle, um, but if you wanted me to list things that I like about the bike, I could be here all day. Um, I'm so impressed with how planted this feels and how the suspension reacts in, in any situation. Um, it's an easy bike to ride, it's not heavy, um, I think we've already done this but I'm 5 foot 8 and uh, I'm on the balls of my feet, I don't feel, I feel in control of it all the time. Um, if I bank it over a bit then yes it does start to feel a little bit lumpy and uh, you lose your confidence with it a bit. But if you're, if you're a rider that um, likes the sound of having a litre bike and likes the XR, then uh, I would seriously look into it because it won't bite your hand off unless you ask it to do so. It's a very, very compliant bike. And also having that extra power can be uh, much safer as well. It can get you out of trouble. It's definitely a bike I don't want to take back though. Real pleasure to ride this was. gonna miss it when it's gone <laughs> anyway uh, thank you very much for watching the video I really do appreciate it it's um, you guys that are watching it that make this channel happen for me um, so thank you very much for that um, give it a like would be much appreciated as well if you would and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe as well I've got lots and lots coming up now that we're allowed out again. And uh, huge thanks to uh, Ocean BMW. If you have not been to this Plymouth BMW, then get yourself down there and have a look. They have some really, really good stuff here and a massive use section and uh, a lot of nice new bikes, loads of demos. And uh, as with all things BMW, they do make you feel part of a part of a family in a strange little way they they're here as a business they want to sell you a bike and that's fair enough isn't it but um yeah you, you do get a lot of uh, personal good service with it that's the used section up there as well i might have a look around there in a minute see if they've got any xrs no thanks for watching though guys i really really appreciate it and uh i'll see you next week all right have a good week cheerio